Simone Delarue, owner and creator of Body by Simone. Today, I'm going to demonstrate some moves for you that I created exclusively for fitness magazine readers. I hope you enjoy them. You're going to place the Pilates ball in between your knees. You're going to engage in your adductors as you squeeze the ball. You're gonna make sure that your wrists are underneath your shoulders. You're gonna tuck your tail under as we're gonna scoop up into a bridge. Push up, lower down, squeeze the ball, and release, and then squeeze and lift up into bridge. Come down, making sure you relax your neck, and squeeze, and lift, lower down, last one. Squeeze, slightly bend those elbows. You're working right into your triceps. Pull up, making sure your navel is going towards your spine into your bridge. You start this one and side saddle. You're gonna place your arms forward and rest onto your forearms. Place the ball again in the crook of your knee, bringing your heel towards your glute so the hamstring is contracted. You're gonna hover this leg slightly off from the underneath leg. Squeeze the ball and contract, and we lift and squeeze into the glute. It's a great glute burnout as you squeeze and lift. And again, lower it down. Squeeze and lift. Do not move the hips, do not move the upper body. Just squeeze the hamstring and the glute as you lift up and down. This exercise, you're gonna lay prone. So you're gonna lay on your belly, on resting on your abdomen. You're gonna make uh, a plie hog-like legs. You're going to place the Pilates ball in between the heels. The heels are going to come try and kiss themselves so the ball is being contracted. You're going to lay down, rest onto your forearms. You're going to squeeze your glutes and squeeze your heels towards each other as you lift your thighs off the floor. Lift and lower down. Good. Squeeze. You push the pelvic bone into the floor. Squeeze these glutes as you lift up and lower down. Good. If you'd like to rest your head here so that your neck is not strained, squeeze and lift and lower down. And again, squeeze those glutes and lift and lower down. This is a wonderful full body workout for focusing on your core. You're going to set up into the perfect plank. Wrists underneath, shoulders, navel to spine. Kick back the legs, pull the tailbone under. You're gonna use your lower abs and your oblique to lift the leg up off the floor, tap it to the side, and bring it back to plank. And again, breathe, engage in your lower abs, use your core to lift that leg, tap, and bring it back to plank. Making sure your elbows are slightly bent back towards your waist, Tap the foot and bring it down again. This exercise is a stabilization exercise. You're going to stand on one leg. You're going to extend the other leg, foot flex. The arm make a fist in opposition. You're going to bring your elbow and your knee towards each other in an oblique crunch. As they come together, you have to use your core to stabilize and kick back out again, foot flex. And again, breathe. Cross elbow to knee and extend out. Good. Slightly bend that right knee so you're working into that right quad and cross. Oblique crunch and extend. Good. One more. Cross it through and breathe and stabilize and extend out. This is a stabilization exercise. You're going to stand on one leg. You're going to pull up into your core. You're going to work this quad as you kick it out trying to get your big toe to reach your navel as you kick out and then you're going to come back to so standing as you kick behind you directly behind you so it's working into your glute work your right quad and your hamstring and then using your core to bring yourself up to center to stabilize again once again kicking this leg out nice and parallel don't tilt the hips and bring it back in, and we kick directly behind us, slightly bending that right knee, take those hands down to the floor, flex that foot as we kick back. And again, use your core to come back up, extend front and breathe, bring it in, kick back and extend. 